Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. With all glory going to God, I have reached a milestone of sharing the gospel online to over 100 million people in over 130 different countries. I believe millions of these people may have been saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood. I am now being led to start using Chinese, African, Spanish, and Arabic languages in all of my weekly sermons and other videos. These languages are those who are in dire need of hearing the true gospel of Christ and hunger and thirst for God's word. I will only use the King James Version, the only accurate mass-produced Bible in the world. I am doing this because all the signs are present that show Jesus Christ will return for his true bride any day now. Every biblical sign you can see show this is, is the end of the season and we are, we are the blessed generation who will see the rapture Harpazo or catching away. The main problem with most preachers today is they preach a poisonous, wrong gospel that leads people to hell. I preach the one true gospel that 100% assures those who hear it and act upon it will go to heaven forever. The biggest lie preached today is that we have eternal security when we are saved, and no matter how much we sin or how bad we sin, we will still go to heaven when we die. This is a lie that was first used by Satan himself in the Garden of Eden when he told Adam and Eve they would surely not die if they ate of the forbidden fruit. Satan knew, however, that they would die spiritually that day and they were removed from the Garden of Eden forever. I've discovered over 250 Bible verses that prove we must all repent of our sins after we are saved if we want to go to heaven. If we choose not to and decide to live in iniquity, sinful patterns, then we will surely spend forever in hell and the lake of fire. I will now try, I will now share several such scripture with you. Before I do that, let me get the sermons pulled down some so that people can get caught up here. This is new for me. It's a whole new thing, so I'll get up to it. And I noticed in the Arabic and in the Chinese, there was uh, the script language and also another language. So I put both of those because one was a simplistic and one was a traditional. So that'll cover more people being able to see it. Okay, back to the scripture here. The first scripture. 1 Timothy 1, 19 to 20. Holding faith in a good conscience, which some having put away, concerning faith have made shipwreck, of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. The above scripture clearly shows that Christians, of whom Hymenaeus and Alexander surely were, can become shipwreck, which means unless they repent and find their way back to Jesus, they will go to hell. We even see they were given over to Satan because of their sin. Next scripture, 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And every man striveth that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. <coughs> I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight, I not as one that beateth the air. But I keep under my body and bring it under subjection, lest by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. The above scripture once again clearly shows that even probably the best Christian ever, the Apostle Paul himself, said he could become a castaway or backslidden and doomed to hell if he doesn't repent and find his way back to Jesus. And adjust my wording again. I'll probably bring it down to the bottom now. It should be good. I 
better bring it down a little bit up just in case I missed anything. I don't want anybody to be left out of any part of the scripture. And then I'll adjust it down again in a minute. Revelation 3, the King James Version Bible, verses 1 to 5. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are not ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even the Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. The above scripture once again proves if we don't repent and live holy lives for Jesus, we will be left behind at the rapture, and Jesus will deny us before God and blot our names out of the book of life. If you have never been saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood, or you're a backslidden Christian, struggling and living in unrepentant sin, there is great news. If you pray this prayer and do the next steps I list, you will be 100% assured to go to heaven. Pray with me. Jesus, I know I have sinned and fallen short of your glory. I believe you died on the cross, were risen again on the third day, and went back to heaven to prepare a place for me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins, and I repent of all my sins now. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now read the Bible and pray every day. Witness and pray for others. Repent when you sin and try and get water baptized, if it's any way possible. If you need prayer for anything, message me, and I will pray for you every single day without fail. May God bless you. And that, my friends, is the first of, I hope, many sermons and end times news videos that will get the word out to everybody. And I know there are other languages, but the Lord laid these for my heart. And we'll see where we go. As you see, my screen is filled. I don't have room to put anything else, but we'll just see where we go. But from now on, I plan on doing these languages. And I just hope and pray that many come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior through this. It's all about him. It's never about me. May God bless you all. You take care of yourselves. And look up, my true Christian friends. Our different doth and I, we fly soon. May God bless you and take care of yourselves. Bye.